osteoarthritis here, which is generally what we call the wear and tear arthritis. You can't reverse it, but you can make it feel a hell of a lot better. So the reason for this is that, let's go back a step. We've got lots of studies that show that when people lose weight, their pain significantly improves. The joint that we usually refer to when they talk about this in the research is knee, osteo-knee arthritis. And it's been said that a 10% body weight reduction can reduce the pain of knee arthritis by about 50%. So most of the data would actually suggest it's probably only about 30%, but that's still pretty significant. And if it was only due to the weight loss, then we'd expect it to be proportional. We'd expect a 10% reduction in body weight to lead to a 10% reduction in pain, not a 30% or a 50%. So why is it? So it's very well accepted now that it comes down to a cytokine effect, that circulating molecules within our blood messenger molecules. And I can tell you what those molecules are. So if you actually think about it, you get a soup bone, like the one you're going to make a big soup out of or you're going to give to a dog or something like that. And you know how you've got this shininess on the end of it. Um, it's, it's shiny, whereas the shaft of the bone is actually a little bit dull. So that shininess on the end is actually called articular cartilage. That's super smooth, super hard wearing. In actual fact, two sheets of articular cartilage rubbing against each other have less friction than wet ice. It, it's really smooth stuff. And apparently, I, I don't know how true this is, if you shoot a puck on ice, if you could shoot that same puck on human articular cartilage, it would go six times farther. So I don't know if that's true or not, but it's certainly a nice statistic to roll out from time to time. But basically, this is impressive stuff. Now, if you were to slowly grind this articular cartilage down, that's arthritis. And when we talk about grade one, two, three, or four, we're really just talking about, is it the first 25%? Are you in the next 50%, 75%? Or how far through it are you? That's how we grade it. Now, you cannot, once you've worn away some cartilage, you can't replace it, but you can make it more resilient, what is left behind, because it doesn't actually have any nerves. So the fact that you've ground a bit away doesn't cause pain. But if it loses its function and doesn't absorb shock and protect the bone that's underneath, that bone has a lot of nerve and that can cause a lot of pain. So if we actually were to look at this articular cartilage under a microscope, you, what you would see is you would see a cell in the middle and that cell is called a chondrocyte and that would be surrounded by a protein scaffolding that we call the extracellular matrix. And that extracellular matrix is what actually makes the cartilage resilient and strong. And there's some things that can make the, the chondrocyte in the middle is making this extracellular matrix or this scaffolding all the time. And there's other forces in the body which are breaking it down. And if the force is breaking it down uh, much, much, you know, quite high, then it means you can only secrete a very little and not a very stable extracellular matrix. So the resiliency of the cartilage and the ability to protect the underlying bone is going to be much reduced. So then the question is, what factors actually lead to breaking down of this scaffolding? And the only protein in our body that can break down that type of collagen is called a matrix metalloproteinase. Matrix metalloproteinase, it sounds awful, but basically metallo just means it's got a metal line in there. Proteinase means it can break down protein and matrix just refers to, it breaks down the extracellular matrix. So it's actually, you know, a, an almost logical name. And they're made by the liver. Now, the liver normally makes a, a small amount in the background. It's what we call a constitutive secretion. It's always making a little bit. But if you have fatty liver disease, you make a whole lot more. And some of that extra stuff that gets made circulates around the rest of the body and it gets exposed to your cartilages, to this extracellular matrix. So it weakens it. So it weakens all the proteins and all the collagen proteins in the body. And so that means that you're more likely to develop tendon injuries, which are also made of collagen. You're more likely to have arthritis pain because you, the lining of your joints is less resilient. So when you lose a little bit of weight, 
The beautiful thing is the weight that you lose first actually comes away from your liver. So even before you lose the pot belly, you're reversing fatty liver disease. You reverse fatty liver disease, reduce the amount of fat in the liver, the body makes less of these matrix metalloproteinases. We abbreviate them as MMPs. If you have less MMPs, then that means there's less of this breakdown stress on your articular cartilage. And even though you've got the same amount of cells, the same amount of chondrocytes, that hasn't changed. It means that the area around them, that scaffolding is much bigger and much stronger and much more resilient. And that protects the underlying bones.